Hello and welcome to the Kundalini podcast. That was Zen. This is Dao. I'm Vivek Govekar. Namaste. This is episode 88. Today I'd like to talk a little bit about our ideas about godliness and how things actually work when you have a Kundalini awakening. I keep talking about this Samudra Manthan story and I have talked about it before. It's like an instruction manual left to the person going through an a Kundalini awakening. There'll be trauma, guards, demons, memories from the past all churned up. There'll be a moving around in your spine with energy and you will get revelations, higher gnosis, ascendance, etc. Now, all that is true. And yes, I've talked about the harsh stuff as well and the suffering and what you go through on a day-to-day basis, just keeping this energy calm and being able to function in a day removing from your life what was not necessary, moving on to other patterns that are healthier. Now, this takes discipline, effort, and an observation of that change that is happening within you as it's unfolding. So, I thought I'd talk about that a little bit. Uh, in the last episode, I talk about, talked about possessions uh, and how to overcome the craving for possessions by using them to their best ability. Uh, it sets up a cascade of events. Your life only happens as you visualize it, whether you want to or not. So if you have allowed, say, a commercial on TV or something that you liked to influence you to go to a bookstore and buy a certain book because you saw the commercial for it, you read the reviews and you're intrigued. That's through a program that you encountered in a magazine or on TV or somewhere. However, if you decide the programming yourself, and I've given the methods, uh, affirmations, uh, positivity, etc., and have a clean mind and keep doing those things mechanically, this is my time for meditation, I will meditate. I'll use a guided meditation, uh, like the Deepak Chopra, Chakra Meditation, or Solfeggio Harmonics, Volume 1. Those are on iTunes and on YouTube. Uh, I use those and others, and then a certain continuity is reached because I have used them before then for a long time I did not use them and now I'm using the same ones again you know how to access a certain level on the elevator to ascendance let's put it that way and you press the right button and you when you get there you know what to do how to be and what it does to the psyche because you have set that up as a pattern what gets discarded was life lived up to that point so let's say two three years passed by and I did not listen to this guided meditation it becomes a triggering cascade. You know how in the old times there were these pianos that were being played by punch cards and there was a sheet of paper that would punch holes and as it ran through the machine those keys played. An early computer, early form of programming, a device to do something mechanical. It's the same thing with these mantras and guided meditations and I've used this method extensively to set up playlists. I was so fortunate. I bought my first iPod in 2005 and 2006 is when my awakening happened. I managed to, for the first time in anybody's life, in first time in human existence for those three, four years, 2001 onwards, you could carry music in your pocket way more than any human being had in the past. A Walkman was one cassette and maybe you have another two, three cassettes in your backpack. Let's say five cassettes or five CDs or uh, MP3 CDs. That was the latest up to that point. But now you had an iPod and similar devices, but that's the one that took off. 1,000 songs, then 10,000 songs. And uh, by that point, 2005, it came to the point where I'm like, okay, I'm putting my entire library. Back then it was about 350 CDs. I put it all on the iPod. And right when the awakening happened, I had access to playlists to be able to listen to all of these in a sequence that was not possible before. With the later versions of streaming music, it became even easier because now you just subscribe and then the music, uh, you can uh, download individual files. But before, you had to actually buy that music. But And you could upload your own CDs as well, of course. So, it became so much easier to do it this way, sonically, and uh, set patterns. Okay, this is my time for meditation, I use this music. This is my time for focused work and study, I use this music. And by and by, as the awakening kept uh, unfolding, I started choosing more and more classical music, mantras, anything with a rhythm, 
there's a buddha lounge series buddha lounge uh, or buddha bar uh, these are rhythmic music with different global cultures and you know types of music all making me more able to focus and go into this deep trance that was needed to move the energy and the energy responded well to certain music it did not respond well to other music so harsh music dropped away and smooth rhythmic music that was conducive to flowing of the energy actually became part of my life and i started learning more about classical music ragas mantras etc now when we go through a transformation like this and certain patterns form you start seeing results and that is in comparison to your old self and for that certain changes have to be made in my case that happened to be a relationship change and moving to another place very far away from my uh, previous relationship that led to a few things being obvious like i was a lot more jittery and panicky in a setting where there was chaos going on with a child and me and my ex not getting along and now we are friends but back then that was the case and i had to recover from all of that and there were patterns stored about different things anxiety about uh, social events about going to work about having focus on what you were doing and now through my efforts through these resets that i hit through the energy doing its work but me being away from that setting allowed all of these things that I, i had done you have done the work but you're not seeing the results because you're not in that environment now those things suddenly start showing results like positive affirmations like breathing practices and it that's also a habit so you fall into a pattern where you recognize something ah now this is going to happen in a certain cascade based on my past trauma experience what i have been programmed to experience is now going to be changed through my efforts and now that's the new pattern i start breathing a certain way i start focusing centering my energy and the panic situation moves away again one thought goes away next thought is a calming thought and now you have grabbed on to that and now you are on a different route a different way ascending and the pitfall was avoided this had to be done for many years without seeing any results because of circumstances beyond my control to come to a place where circumstances were more under my control at least i had isolation and wasn't reliant on other people and you know daily interactions that did not help the process now i realize wow by adding drama by adding chaos and being in an agitated mode you set the entire course of that day for that and your thoughts are filled with that but if you manage to not have thoughts at all and focus your mind and know how to put the right thoughts through these playlists the way i do it through mantras through other things you realize many years later if you have kept doing it even without seeing results that when the results come it is incredible all that work paid off for that you have to know the right methods and like i said only things that work for me are things that i express on this series of videos so for all it's worth let me say that making playlists listening to classical music ragas and doing guided meditation is very helpful and especially when you see a big change in your life but your habits remain the same the positive habits and the bad things are going away through your intention through your focus of removing those bad patterns not making them a habit not fixating on bad thoughts hey this is going to bring bad outcomes and bad thoughts and bad paths will be chosen because of these thoughts circulating in my head when you become aware of that and its importance for everything that comes in the future and start seeing the results oh wow last 6 months i've had no negative thoughts and because of these 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 techniques efforts uh, things that i did i am now able to relax a lot more on a day to day basis i don't get hassled now if i do start feeling like i'm getting hassled stressed or anxious i start focusing on the techniques i do them so that increases the intensity of that pattern one more repetition put in and at the same time i am dissolving another pattern not by fixating on those thoughts not by letting them circulate for too long but by bringing in another pattern of positivity and self growth self discipline through self discipline for self growth giving positive outcomes that's the best way to describe it you bring in disciplines that bring in better patterns avoid bad thought forms to form 
a deep impact on you to the extent that it affects your day and day to day behavior separating those two going into the day completely focused calm and having a self activated mechanism to achieve all of the above to be set as a pattern by itself oh my god once all of this clicks falls into place and start showing results and it's an automated smooth machine it is an incredible thing a sight to behold the best part all of this is happening on your own psyche on your own subconscious through disciplined determined hard work on your part and i can be the person telling you this because of what i have overcome here i have a life awakening happens i realize a lot of these parts in my life are not good for me i keep changing them a relationship change happens and now a lot of efforts that were put in up to that point but now with this big difference of not having a certain setting brings in the cascade of all of those results and they start sh showing your life becoming better day by day you have to be patient you have to keep doing it and allow your mind to count your blessings for each day no matter where you are do those things diligently start observing and noting down the results you will see that your life has improved immensely by just changing your thoughts being able to having the ability through hard work to change your own thoughts towards something positive choosing an outcome not choosing a programmed mechanical action not going along with something because people are pressuring you staying back for one second letting a thought pass making it a conscious awareness situation again before you decide about something if you have decided if you have been rushed into something you can always back off whenever it happens stop stopping programmed unconscious actions before they become a cascade and you start acting out on it whatever it is anger <gasps> excitement too much of anything they ripples in the pond you're observing them you're working with them you're letting go as you observe and you are only keeping what you need for your next task that you have planned and have the discipline to do that task one day at a time one step at a time layer every day with positive things that you have done take stock of what you have done you know marvel at oh where was i before open to that page oh wow 6 months ago i was struggling with this look now i'm here it helps to write a journal which has fixed categories personal life emotional life meditation practice insights three or four things that on a regular basis you're going to put down then the template is the same your day to day answers to those columns change gives you an insight a year later to what you were and where you are now isn't it awesome so it's a gradual process but it's worth doing i can tell you this i'm so much calmer so much well adjusted and all of the efforts that were put in diligently are working and showing results by making me a calmer more mature person in my reactions not letting thing, things affect me for too long and being able to harness my mind for productive output creative work harmony calm within myself peace of mind enjoying each moment for itself for its own sake having aspirations and goals that uninterrupted in my mind not self sabotaging not letting other people's words affect me and having patterns already in place that automatically take care of some of the things that i uh you know want to do get better at and that's already going really well even with some uh disruptions distractions things come back and settle and that was never an experience i had before i was never comfortable in my own mind i was always agitated anxious harried knew this was wrong but couldn't do much about it didn't thought i didn't have the time to deal with it well now i did put in the effort it's showing results i hope that was helpful i hope everyone benefits from what i'm talking about and implements that please let me know how you feel what your feedback is leave comments please like and subscribe this video this is vivek kovekar signing off peace love blessings be well